Hi guys, welcome to my living room and to this 14th episode of my creative podcast. I'm Selma and today we will talk a lot about sewing and a little bit about knitting as well. I hope you're well. Today is Saturday, but well, this podcast will be up tomorrow on Sunday. I hope the weather will be a little better because today is really, really shit. Um, I'm currently considering um, investing in some uh, daylight lamps because it's just getting really annoying to have to tinker with the light settings and everything. It's just, uh, yeah, maybe when I get really, really annoyed about it, I will make that decision and get some lamps. But for now, we will just deal with our regular living room. <laughs> ceiling lamps anyway um enough with the rambling i want to say welcome and thank you to all the new subscribers um you've been coming in droves in recent days and um i'm really really grateful and happy to see you here i hope you uh, enjoyed this podcast and uh, yeah um I hope we'll have some fun together. Okay, um, let's start with the finished objects. Well, I don't have any knitted finished object this week because I've been mostly working on my sewing in the evening when I come home. And so I didn't knit enough to actually finish anything. Sewing takes some space, some, some space, yes. And mostly a lot of time when you're like me and you're just beginning, you know, and you're learning along the way but um i managed to saw three things in the last two weeks first this top which well it's a t-shirt basically it's a regular t-shirt um yeah i'm sorry i'm going to try to show you a bit better it goes um, in the back it goes slightly lower than in the front um, and the middle of my bum basically I usually put it in my pants but um, it was harder to show you right it's really really easy the pattern is the Trot Top by um, Ivan S I saw it uh, a lot on social networks and blogs uh, well at least French ones um lately i think it came out last summer i think but uh, yeah i thought that looks easy the reviews are good so let's just try that you know i found this fabric in my stash <laughs> um, it, i bought it probably i don't know five years ago maybe more probably more actually um back when i had decided to take up sewing and never actually really did but I was glad to find it it's it just fits perfectly with the with the project itself yeah everything is really really clearly explained on the pattern well obviously it's all in French but I guess if you know what you're talking well what you're dealing with and talking about then you can probably um, manage as well um, I think the whole pattern and explanations are probably something like 57 pages. That's a lot. There are a lot of um, directions and very, very clear explanations. There are pages to um, give you more info about uh, knitting stretch fabrics and yeah, how to cut the pieces and everything. Honestly, but well, this pattern took a lot of work and effort to um, make, I'd say. So um, the result is really, really amazing. It's a PDF pattern, so I had to print and assemble everything, but it's very, very simple. Um, the other projects which I made in sewing were actually a complete discovery for me. I'm going to show you my underwear today. Um, yeah, because I actually so made uh, this and a bra that go along with it 
I bought kits to make them uh, at La Grande Mercerie back in November. Um, they had everything, so um, the lace, um, the fabric, the, the elastics, well, the cotton, I mean, the elastics, and basically everything, and the explanations to make them. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, it took me <laughs> quite longer than um, written on the patterns. The, I think for these, it says one hour for the assembling and two hours for the bra and it definitely took longer than that i think i spent three or four evenings on the bra not including the cutting of the pieces obviously because the well it's all very stretchy you know so it wasn't exactly easy to um to draw and cut but i managed obviously the finishing is not perfect by far but I think I did okay. No, if you, well, the outside is fine. It's just the inside. My inner perfectionist doesn't really isn't really satisfied. But anyway, I think I managed quite well. To be honest, the explanations could have been a bit clearer, particularly for complete beginners. Um, how to say that? That's it. Well, the, the patterns have on the first page, you have an introduction and it says on that blog, you can find more detailed explanations for how to sew that kind of elastic, you know, with scallops. I don't know how you would call that. Um, how to make um, bra straps and that sort of things. Well, it could have been clearer, to be honest. The, the, the pictures were not really Fine, there was a lot of um, ripping of the seams and doing it all again, basically. Well, it's a bit annoying, but to be fair, it's also, well, I'm learning along the way. So, well, I guess that's, uh, that's still positive, I guess. Yeah, no, I, I really actually, I like them right now, but I'm not sure <laughs> I'm, I'm ready to make any other anytime soon. Um, yeah. Concerning knitting, I went on, well, I take my knitting along on, on public transport, so I still progress in the project, but not as fast or as much as I would like. Um, there's the Geneva cup. I think I have like half a um, pattern more than last time. Well, I reached the widest part here. There. So it was growing until here and now it's, it's going to be all straight. It's, uh, yeah, it's going to be really nice. It's a, it's a bit of a shawl because it's so wide, you know, but then at the same time it's a bit, it reminds me more of a, of a scarf, you know, because you can really just wrap it around your neck, but it's going to be so huge. Um, I planned nine balls of yarn for it. I'm currently finishing the third. Where is it? Yeah, there, that's written. That's what's left of the third. <laughs> That's not much. I hope that tonight I can actually go on with the fourth ball. I'm um, putting the, um, I'm weaving in the ends uh, as I go because I think that with nine balls it's going to be just really annoying to make it at the end. So I'm doing it as I go and um, it's just cleaner that way, you know. I still really like the the pattern. It's uh, well when you ha are on the pattern part, it's a bit more difficult to actually follow, but there's nothing unbearable either. And uh, to distract a bit from the hub, which is still a very long term project, um, I cast on a new hat this week. Yes, another new hat. It's the Fliesensee pattern by Verena Kors. And um, yeah, for now it's just uh, twisted ribs, two and two, two on two, two by two. 
Anyway, I'm using the Origin Yarn from Rain Cloud and Sage again, just like um, I used it for the um, Lan Hat, which I showed you last time. It's exactly the same yarn, except that um, this one is comes from a grey sheep, from grey sheep and not from white sheep. So it's still really, really nice and wooly and but still soft enough to be comfortable, you know. I'm, I've been wearing the Lan hat almost every day since I made it and I really, really love it. It's so comfortable and so warm, you know. So this one, I, I don't think I have the pattern with me. It's, um, it also has those ribs going out that create kind of branches, you know. Um, yeah, I have the pattern here for the mittens, which I will make afterwards. And they have that same kind of, of ridges there. Yeah, I think it's going to be so nice. The same designer as the Lan hat, which is probably why it's a bit similar with the sh those shapes. Yeah. Yeah, it's a nice distraction. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know, probably tomorrow I will be done with the ribs. Depends what I knit today, actually. Um, but it's 10 centimeters of ribs and with a provisional cast on at the beginning because you then wrap it and knit them together. So yeah, 10 centimeters of ribs and then the pattern. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, so I just told you what I will do next with those mittens, these, and also a pair of socks. It's the So Vanilla Socks by Mary, Mary Lucas. Um, it's very, very simple socks. I will make them um, for a call, a knit along, which is called My First. Um, it's, uh, it's in French, uh, it's organized by a French um, knitter. On Ravelry and uh, the idea is to basically knit your first anything your first pair of socks your first hat your first mittens your first color work your first anything your first uh, yarn from Mongolia or <laughs> whatever you want really so I will make socks with yarn which I bought last year from Tuku wool at uh, Edinburgh at the festival and we will see how it goes maybe next time i will have one sock to show you i will see um i also received well actually i received it like two days after i filmed the last podcast no i went to pick it up on tuesday my order from air de lune finally the post the french post played some tricks on me I will stay polite, but I was really, really not happy with the way they handled it. But anyway, I got my six skeins. Yeah, I'm sorry. My right hand has been hurting for a week now. So it's a bit hard to actually grab stuff this way. So yeah, there you have them. The six skeins. Uh, the set is called Cher Selma, so Dear Selma. So yes, it was named after me. And I'm so, so honored. Um, the colors are amazing, they are so deep and, and nuanced and subtle, you know. I already know what I will make with them. Um, I'll make a gigantic shawl so that I can use up all the color, you know. I'm looking forward to starting uh, with them. It's um, just the yarn is very, very soft and the colors are so amazing. So really, uh, thank you, Emma, Emma and... Um, I'm so excited. What else did I want to tell you about? Um, oh yeah, uh, right now on my Instagram account, you have a you have a small giveaway to um, to win um, a pattern for this hat. Well, the pattern for this hat. Um, the designer has very kindly offered um, to give one away for you. So head over to the to my Instagram account at Selma T L B C, and uh, yeah, enter the giveaway if you want to win it. It's really really nice. Uh, again, there's adult and child size, so uh, you can make someone or yourself happy by having 
a really fancy color work hat. Yeah, I really like looking at the inside of them. You know, just almost, almost as nice as the outside. And um, what else? I have here. I made a list of all the stuff I want to make this year. So here is the sewing. I have twenty patterns written down so far because the li the list keeps growing. You know. I made three of them already and I ordered two two patterns from Colette Patterns this week. I'm looking forward to receiving them. And here's the list for a year-long decal which I'm taking part in. Um, talking about cows, there is the Five Days Five Shows Challenge coming soon. Um, it's organized by Aroha Nitz and I actually took part last year. This year I won't be able to because I just have too much going on at the moment, but it starts on the 29th of January. And uh, basically it's uh, five days, obviously, and you get a pattern for a mini shawl every day. So it's really good to help you understand the construction of shawls. If you find them daunting, like I used to as well, um, it's really nice to get acquainted with the various shapes and to see that it's not that difficult, to be honest. Um, it's basically like you knit for an hour a day and you end up with five mini shawls. I don't have them here, but they were really, really fun to knit last year. Um, yeah, I will put a link below so you can... So you can find them, um, so you can find the page and get more info about it. Also, last but not least, um, oh yeah, no, sorry, I forgot to show you what I actually, ooh. let's rewind a bit. <laughs> I uh, cut the pieces for these shorts, uh, like yesterday, I think. Um, I couldn't start on them before because I didn't have the right I don't know the English word for that. Attachment for my sewing machine to sew invisible zips, zippers, you know. Um, but now I... <sighs> I received it, so I'm going to be able to start working on it. It's uh, shorts. I, it's a kit which I bought at a festival last November again. It's... Um, oh, the description is in English. Brooklyn is a sailor mid-height short. It is perfect for a classy and comfortable uh, style. Yeah, I think it's going to be nice. I chose um, I chose a navy blue textured fabric. We'll see how it turns out. But they had they had some already made displayed on their booth, and I just really liked it. Yeah, so uh, back to the end of our uh, of my announcements. If you follow me on Instagram already, you will have seen my announcement. Um, my last info for today. I'm going to be a guest podcaster at Edinburgh Yard Festival. I am so honored and excited to be part of the group uh, that has been selected to be a guest podcaster podcaster there it's just amazing people um i really encourage you to get over to um the edinburgh yarn festival website and check out the full list of podcasters who will be there um it's going to be a lot of fun if you want to meet while we're there please um i would love that so um well at first, you can head over to the podcast lounge organized by, well, hosted by uh, Blacker Yarns at, an, at the festival. But if you want to, um, yeah, if you want to meet up at some point, either at the festival or in Edinburgh, just drop me a comment, a comment and we will, we will organize something. I would really, really love meeting you all. Um, I will be in Edinburgh from Wednesday to Sunday and um, at, well, I am not 100% sure yet as to when I will be at the festival, but we will see. Probably a little bit every day. Anyway, well, um, that's the last thing I wanted to tell you today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, Please uh, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't yet, and uh, don't hesitate to share it. It will be 
so nice and I will be so grateful of you to um, for oh god I'm so sorry I will be very grateful to you if you actually deem it shareable so um, yeah if you want to please me just do it <laughs> whatever I um, I hope you liked this episode and um, and I will probably cut this part because I feel so stupid right now. But <laughs> I wish you a very good day or end of the day, week, end of the week, whenever you're watching this. Um, I'll see you next time very soon. And in the meantime, enjoy your knitting. Bye.